Hi everyone, how you doing tonight? I'm Julie, welcome to Big Sky Beauty, and on today's side by side, I thought I would give you a rundown on what seems to be a big rage right now, cream blushes that come in a stick. Handy, very handy, I'll tell you. I love cream blushes, I love them. Um, if I could get away with using them all the time, all year round, I would. Um, in the summertime, I don't use them so much just because they're easily meltable off my face, but if I could get away with wearing them all the time, I certainly would. I have dozens and dozens of of cream blushes. Probably more, no, I do have more cream than I do any other kind of blush. Um, I love them. Now, I thought that I would give you a little bit of a side-by-side -side of the few that I have. I've actually went around my town. Now keep in mind, I live in Hickville, okay? Um, Helena, Montana, even though it's the state capital and there's like 60,000 people or so here, the only two, two kinds of cream blushes in a stick that I could find in my town, and I've been to all the drugstores, which is only CVS, uh, Walgreens and Burgum Drug, which is just a little privately owned. I think they got like makeup that grandma didn't use up there or something bizarre like that. Uh, Walmart, Ulta, Shopco, um, you know, we don't have, we don't have much here. And so the only three that I could get my hands on were the City Color Cosmetics that I ordered a while back and uh, Maybelline Master Glaze and then the NYX Stick Blush. Now, it seems, and I'm sure you've all noticed, that it seems like the stick blushes are just like kind of a, you know, a big thing right now. And I think it's because they're so handy. They're portable. You can use them for your cheeks, for your lips, um, you know, anywhere you wanted to. Um, I have actually just, you know, testing the waters to see what all they're good for. I have actually used these as a base for my eyeshadow too, and they work for that as well. Although I wouldn't suggest it because they're a little bit oilier than you want on your eyelids. Now. Like I said, the three that I have are from NYX, Maybelline, and then City Color. Now, all of these are pretty similar. I mean, the concept obviously is the same. On uh, City Color Cosmetics, I was able to go out on and look at the ingredients on the product. And they do have parabens. There's parabens in the City Color. I could not find anywhere the ingredients on the Maybelline or the NYX. I was going to let you know if there's parabens in it, if there's, you know, certain um, dyes and colorings in them that I know have a wide range of um, <clears throat> allergic reactions, you know, across the board. But I couldn't find anywhere that told me what the ingredients for these two products were. So, usually when something is paraben-free, it says it loud and clear on the packaging. So I am going to assume that these are not paraben-free because... It doesn't say it anywhere, and I can't find anywhere. Okay, start off with the most expensive first, and that is the Maybelline Master Glaze, which seems to certainly be the most popular ones that I've seen, um, you know, talked about on YouTube. At my Ulta, the Master Glazes are $8.99, $9. At Walmart, I think they're like a buck cheaper, but at Ulta, they're nine bucks. Um, the Master Glazes come in six colors, and it's right across the board from really pinky to a uh, coral to um, a nudish brown, kind of. So you got a pretty good color range. 6.8 grams in, in the product, okay? The NYX ones, NYX comes in eight colors. Um, they are 6.2 grams, so there is 0.04 or 0.4 less grammage in the NYX than there is in this, which is nothing. I mean, that's literally like one usage, okay? That's how small of a difference, uh, you know, in their, uh, in their grams that that is. So, and the NYX ones are $5.99, six bucks. Almost all the time, our Ulta has NYX, buy one, get one 50% off. I mean, it's, it's like a constant running um, sale. And so, really, you can get these for really cheap. Not, not this one. Okay, and then the City Color Cosmetics cost $2.99. And there are 5.26 grams of product in, in this little container. They look much smaller okay they look much smaller when in reality there is only like a eighth of a gram less 
in this one than there are in the other two. And the other two have, you know, not even a discernible difference in them to, you know, think, well, I'm getting a better deal on this, that I get more product. No, it's not, you know, a, a sixteenth of a gram is like one usage. So, yeah, I'm not really going to concentrate on how much is in here because really it's all completely comparative. They are all basically six grams of product. Okay. Now, as far as application, and they all got a pretty good range of color too. I I gotta say, they all have the same kind of ranges, you know, which what you would expect with anything: pinks, mauves, browns, and uh, corals. You know, um, I have been wearing all of these for the last month or so. Um, is how long I've been testing these out because I wanted to see how each one wore. You know, if you could put them on your lips, if you know what what all you could do with them. And I will say, with all of these products, they double as lipsticks. <laughs> they do, which is really cool. Um, I don't know if... I actually wore these ones around a bit as lipsticks, but not the City Color one, because the one I got in City Color is the Coral, and I don't look really good in that kind of Coral. Not on my lips, anyway, so I didn't do that. But you can wear them as lipsticks. They're not long-lasting, not like on your cheeks. Um, I don't I don't really get it, how they can be long-lasting all day on your cheeks, but not on your lips. I think it's just because you're running your mouth or whatever. I'm not really sure, but they are. Um, they have all day lasting on your cheeks, though. With all of these products, well, all three of these brands, I applied them in the morning, put powder on, you know, you set them with the powder, and then I didn't have any problem with the color wearing off, moving, or anything all through the day. They all wore quite lovely. Now, I love NYX. Y'all know I love NYX. I have done lots of videos with NYX hauls and talking about NYX. Of these three products, the NYX was the one I had the problem with the most. It's, it's much heavier than the other two. And I'm going to show you just the colors that I got. Okay, now this one is the Magnolia, and it's a NYX one. I'm just going to, let me make sure my hand's clean. I'll put it on the back of my hand. Okay, that's the Magnolia NYX. And when you go to rub this out, it's quite, um, it's got a little bit more of a, a tackiness to it. I mean, it still blends out, and it's quite nice, but it's still, it's quite, it's, um, it's heavier than the other two. It's got a, a distinct um, heaviness to it, whereas these two don't, okay? Um, here's the Master Glaze, and I've got the Master Glaze that I got, I think I just said was already in uh, just pinked, pinched pink, and that's the color I got on that one. It's I mean, it's almost barely can see it on my skin. And I am using the lightest, the lightest touch and it just blends right out. I think everybody that's probably going to view this video has gotten the Master Glazes, and they are just beautiful, you guys. I really, really like this blush, and even though I have a ton of them, I will be going down and getting the rest of these because I love them that much. Um, of all the three, the Master Glaze definitely blends out the best. The NYX one, you have to work at blending the NYX out a little bit more. It is, it's, it's considerably... Um, stickier. It, you know, when I first tried these out at Ulta, um, I hadn't even purchased the Master Glaze yet. Because <laughs> I got so many cream blushes, I thought, oh, I'm not, I'm only going to get as many as I need, you know. And when I first tested the um, NYX ones out at Ulta, I thought, oh, man, these feel good. But then when I bought this and brought it home, I thought, oh, holy crap. And I didn't even think that the NYX ones felt anything but fantastic until I tried this one. And they're not bad, mind you. Okay, they're not bad. They're just not as smooth as this. Now, on to the City Color. And I think this is the one that, if I was on the other side of this of this video, this is the one I would be interested in. It is an online brand only. Um, it's Bargain Basement. I mean, we're talking way bargain. And I did film a video of a review of all of the City Color products that I got. But I only got, when I got done doing the video, I thought, you know, that's not really, for the comprehensive line that it is, I really didn't show very many products. So I, uh, I actually ordered a few more, <laughs> okay? So when I get those in, I'm going to refilm it and give you all a review on um, the products that I bought. This blush, look at the pigmentation on that. 
$2.99. The pigmentation is fantastic. And it blends out just like the Master Glaze. If I didn't know the difference, if I wasn't looking at the tubes, I would think that these were the same product. They blend out that smoothly, that easily. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to put these side by side. Yeah, you can't really see the mauve on me because I'm so dark, but... Um, I mean, and you can see the pigmentation from the City Color one. It's just ridiculous good. Very, very good pigmentation. How can you not order, you know, all of them? They're half the price of this one and a third the price of the Master Glaze. I mean, what a smoking deal. And they're really good. You get a fraction less than you would in these, but that ain't nothing. It's not... It's not even enough to make a difference, you know. Um, City Color Cosmetics is a cruelty-free company. They have the little cruelty-free bunny on their website. They are all fragrance-free. None of them have any kind of an odor whatsoever. Nothing. Now, the Master Glaze and the NYX are comedogenic, but I could not find anything on the City Color saying that. Anywhere on their website does it say non-comedogenic. So I have no idea if these are that or not. But the NYX and the Master Glaze are. So all in all, you guys, as far as pigmentation, wear time, how it sits on your skin, um, they're all gorgeous. They're all beautiful. I'm happy with all of them. The NYX is a bit heavier. It's a little bit greasier. So if you have really oily skin, I would probably steer away from the NYX. I might go for the Master Glaze or, you know, try out some of the City Color. Uh, because these two, I have very, very oily skin. And these two sat well, really, you know, sat really well on my skin. The NYX kind of sat greasy. And I hate to say that because I love NYX. I mean, I am a NYX fan. You know? But as far as the consistency of their stick blushes, I don't dislike it. You know, I just like these ones better. Um, so that is my side-by-side, -side, you guys. I hope that it was a little bit helpful. Um, Rick and I, it is, what time is it? 11, it's about 11.30 midnight right now. Um, we just got back from a dinner, um, having dinner with some friends of ours. And um, I'm getting ready to take this face off and go to bed. And I am a little scattered. I realize that. <laughs> Tomorrow... We have got to go to the other side of the state and pick up a car. And so I wasn't going to be able to film this tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday, or tomorrow is Saturday. And so I figured, well, better time, you know, no better time than the present. So here it is midnight and me filming a video again. And I still got to edit it and everything. So that's all, you guys. Um, I hope this was a little bit helpful for you. I'm sorry I could only show you three of them, but that's all. You know, the only, these two here were the only two that I could find around my little Bodunk town. So, And um, I hope that I gave you a little bit of useful information. I would go with the cheapest one. If you guys are really intent on getting you some cheek blushes or some um, blush sticks, go to City Color Cosmetics and order these ones. They're only three bucks a piece, and you can get... You know, for double the cost of this one, you can get the entire line, and they're every bit as beautiful as the Maybelline. Every bit. So, um, that's it. I love you guys so much. If you have not subscribed, please do so, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.